Hi, I'm Krista with The Big Family Homestead and today I'm going to show you how to make the world's best carrot cake. Yes, I said world's best carrot cake. If you don't believe me, make it, try it, and then you'll be a believer. All right, for ingredients we need three sticks of butter, two cups of sugar, two cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of salt, four large eggs, three cups of grated carrots, uh, one cup of pecans, and one teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, the first thing we need to start with is we need to preheat our oven to 350 degrees, and then we need to prep our cake pans. Now for our cakes to come out of our pan really easy, I'm going to use parchment paper, but to do that I need to trace the bottom of the pan before um, putting the butter inside of it. Just like so. Put just inside the pencil line. You don't want that on your cake. All right, you see how nice and tight that fits in there? Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and slather it with a bunch of butter. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and put this parchment paper down in there and then put some butter on top of that as well, just to get all of the air bubbles out. All right, next up, we're gonna go ahead and I have a secret for you. In all of the recipe books, I know this is weird, but all of them tell you to put flour and, you know, and butter on your cake pans. I don't ever get that. So, I, and I don't like the way it comes out of the pan. So, I use sugar instead. It gives it a nice crunch on the outside. It just, it, it's super, super yummy. So we're just gonna put sugar on this pan instead of flour. Just like so. Now for this cake, I like to do three layers. It gives it some height, some, it just, it's super, super yummy. Trust me on this, you're gonna love it. Now I just wanna let you know this recipe is in our cookbook, Our Family Favorites, and the link is down below. All right, let's get mixing. We're gonna go ahead and put our softened butter into our mixing bowl. And we're just gonna mix that until it is light and fluffy. Right. We're gonna scrape the sides, get the butter off the sides there. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in our sugar. and get that mixed together. All right, so now we're gonna take our salt, baking soda, and cinnamon and mix that into our flour. And then we will alternate adding the flour and the eggs to the butter. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add one egg at a time and then incorporate that, and then we'll add some flour. Go ahead and scrape down the sides, make sure everything is incorporated properly. Next goes in our vanilla, and then we'll mix in the carrots. And voila, our batter is done. Now we're ready to go ahead and fold in our pecans, and then we will go ahead and divide it out in to the uh, cake pans. All right, now we're gonna fold in our pecans. That's one cup of pecans. Just get those. All 
All right, now we're gonna get these smoothed out. And as you see, I'm not really spreading it because I don't wanna disturb the, the sugar on the bottom. So just kind of pressing it just to where it's even. And it will fill out this cake pan. Now they're ready to go into a 350 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes. So as you can see, we're not using any pre-boxed mixes. Um, I don't like using those. I don't like using the packaged frosting because they have hydrogenated oils in them and high fructose corn syrups and things like that that are just not good for you. So I'm using simple ingredients that you can find in your kitchen, uh, like cream cheese, butter, sugar. Those are easy things that you always have. So for the ingredients for the frosting, we've got a pound of powdered sugar, one stick of butter, one eight ounce package of cream cheese, a cup of pecans, and a teaspoon of vanilla. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put our butter and cream cheese into the bowl, and we're going to cream those together. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and sift our powdered sugar into uh, the bowl that's uh, where the cream cheese and butter has already been mixed. And it's never a, a bad idea to make a mess while you're at it. Just saying. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and add our vanilla. Oops, a little too much, but that's okay. And our pecans. Get that combined. There we have it. It's all ready for our cakes. All right, cakes are ready. All right, now we're gonna let these sit so that they release from the sides of the cake pan and they'll be easier to uh, get out of there. Now you're gonna need to let these cool completely before you put any frosting on there because if you do, it will just run right off and it will be a mess. Okay, now for this part, we're gonna go ahead and add our frosting. And no, I'm not a professional, so this isn't gonna look pretty and all of that jazz. And I don't really care because it's gonna be delicious. So we'll go ahead and put some frosting down. Not too much between the layers because we want mainly for the top. And this is a fantastic gadget it's actually a pancake flipper, spatula, whatever. And this, it's almost the same size as the cake. So it's perfect for moving it from one to the top of the cake. All right, take a look at this, guys. Look how moist that is. Oh my goodness. Look at this. And you can see all the carrot pieces and the pecans. Mm. Mm. Moist, delicious. You gotta try this. World's best carrot cake recipe. And it'll make a believer out of you. It will. I'm Krista with The Big Family Homestead, and you have an amazing day.